Hey guys, uh, Flavien Vidal with uh, Magazaki Motor. We are in a 1991 Rover Mini Cooper. And uh, I, I'm actually not using the word Cooper when it's not a Cooper. This car is a real Cooper. Uh, for a little bit, so I'm gonna have to speak really loud because it's, it's a noisy one. Uh, so yeah, in the late, uh, late 90s, uh, no, late 70s, sorry about that. Cooper decided to stop. Oh shit, it's loud. Cooper decided to stop making uh, tuning minis for some reason. So the name Cooper was left out of all the early production Rover. Uh, but in 1991, the name Cooper was brought back. And here we are today. So I've actually had this car for a little while, the reason being that it had, well it's bumpy as hell, that it had a bad uh, head gasket and a re resurfacing, well this car, this one wasn't just resurfaced actually, rebuilding uh, the tires and eco tires, not super grippy at all, but uh, rebuilding a head uh, in Japan is actually a lot harder than it seems. Uh, what is something that is completely normal to do in the States and that you can do for like 70 or 80 bucks here they simply refuse to do the work uh, unless they rebuild the entire head so uh, yeah I had to contact a friend at uh, Classic Car Nagoya to help me do that they couldn't do it themselves because uh, the head is in like a, uh, in, it's a steel head it's not uh, it's not a head that's in, it's not aluminum, so they can only resurface aluminum in-house, but they, they, they have someone who could do it, so this hand actually was entirely rebuilt. <laughs> I'm really... So the seats are stuck, uh, which means uh, that it's not... That it's, uh, I'm fighting it now, I'm using the door as a bucket seat. I really like mini so this one is by far I would say like yeah quite a bit like this the orange one if you remember the video if you've seen it of 1300 cc orange one uh, the gear was popping out yeah, low and torque is not great the gear was popping out in second uh, this one is probably faster than that orange one back then it's a it's a properly fast mini uh, I guess the Cooper the Cooper tune or whatever they did to the car helps a lot but it's faster for example than the fuel injected 1994 one that I did last week it's a it's a genuinely fast mini temperature is in the hot side which is actually fairly normal with them when you're pushing it like that it's not too hot yet so it will hold it like a mini is usually yeah keep an eye all the time on the temperature gauge here as you can see on the left it's a little bit on the hot side but it's not a big deal yet when going uphill and attacking like that on more powerful mini yeah they tend to uh, and we have more traffic yeah they tend to get a bit hot but that's uh, that's actually fairly normal about it uh, it's uh, yeah it's a fast it's a fast Cooper it's it does well like your suspension are decent uh, they're not new obviously but they, they are good enough and uh, yeah it just it's a, it's a pretty good car it's a pretty good car uh, what else can 
I add, uh, the interior is pretty nice. You will see stock interior with stock seats. Uh, so yeah, it's not uh, not ideal if you're trying to push it like that. If you want to hold on to the car, but it does uh, it does the job. And uh, yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for the first hub build part because I doubt. Usually, Crown driver do not let me pass. So yeah. Well, I guess I'll have to wait a little bit and uh, well, we'll be back in a bit for the for the walk around of the car. I'll be right back. So just a little bit more driving, some debris on the road, like it's autumn is coming, so yeah. There is some leaves and stuff on the road now, this is normal. Now. Temperature of the engine has gone back down because I was following that crown forever. I finally managed to pass it. So when it's flat like that, not going uphill so much, I stay in third. Carburetor needs some tuning, the idling is not great. And I will stop here and this time we'll be back with the walk around of the car. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back with the walk around of the car. Uh, let's go ahead with the defects of the car first. Uh, so, first and foremost, the door here opens too much. Uh, the door hinge would have to be, like you see, it does not stop, so instead it stops on the, I think, like, if you just sit it like that, it doesn't hit, it doesn't touch it. But uh, more than that, or if there's a wind, uh, like big wind or whatever, uh, yeah, that's what created that on this, uh, on the door thing. Uh, also, little scratches here and there uh, because the paint is original. So I've got the, the Cooper bands there, so original paint, original like, stickers and everything. Uh, we got a nice like Scottish flag there and some dog thing so about miniature schnauzer. What's a schnauzer? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, with those little British looking dog, I guess, and the owner was probably a fan. He has a complete package with the dog included with the car. Uh, so, other things, details. So, as I said, like little small scratches, you, you know, you need to really polish the whole car. This one is going to ATL JDM, so you can be certain that any little scratches or anything like that will be taken care of. He's like a genuine master in making bodies look absolutely splendid. Uh, we sent him a VR4 that had like really really bad paint uh, that was getting too old, you know, like the, how can I say, the, the coating was faded uh, and stuff like that. He got it, like he spends like hours and hours on it <laughs> and they got it back, like it's it's new looking after a really really impressive job all the time when, the, when they get like a little defects on the body. Uh, so, last thing, this, here and there. This is my fault. Uh, <laughs> the bonnet was removed, uh, which is also why the gaps are really shitty. Uh, because, uh, well, I did, uh, I, I put it back myself and I, I really suck at it, so I'll try to, to, to do it better later on. But, uh, well, for now that will do. But uh, yeah, I removed the bonnet, put it on the side, and uh, I kicked it with my foot and it fell down. This occurred. Really sorry about that. Uh, 
uh, and that's gonna be it for the cosmetic defect of the car I guess uh, some minor things like here for example those things all the time are really shitty and never fit never they always move this one is no exception as you can see it's like moving around so you can buy some new ones uh, on, on mini spare or whatever website you use for for your mini it's really cheap it's just the pain to fix to to to, to put it on there uh, not practical but uh, yeah other than that that's pretty much it same other classic thing that moves all the time on minis this thing around it okay the interior now I, i'm really cold actually if i'm honest uh, it's not a great weather anymore in uh, in mount Rocco, especially on top of mount Rocco. so yeah it's a bit cold uh original leather seats to be careful with the door and the window uh, uh, original leather seats here you can see been like slightly taped here there was some rip nothing much uh, this side is in perfect condition then we've got the dash uh, i'm not sure if it's the original one or if it's aftermarket there's no tachometer so you have to do it by ear up and up uh, what else yeah radio is not uh, the original rover one i'm not even sure it works i would have to to test it uh, otherwise you can just plug it you know, it's not a big deal uh, motor detail steering really small really tiny so it needs a bit of uh, it needs some arm muscle to move that but uh, yeah it does the trick really well uh, door panels are nice let's go check the truck you heard some little thing maybe moving uh, when i was driving that's this thing going back and forth uh, right next to the battery which is super safe <laughs> and uh, that's it for the trunk yeah some like surface rust but really nothing much uh, really usual and classic no spare wheels for for lightweight production and we can go with the engine bay Hop. typical really classic nothing nothing special there head gasket as i said uh, has been changed just now like the head was entirely rebuilt you can see that it's been shaved on top and bottom there still have the marks uh, you've got the 12a2 ag01 if you're looking for serial number of the engine uh, yeah that's about it yeah gaps are really really crappy sorry about that uh, yeah here some the chrome is a little bit uh, not great on the lights so yeah would have to be re chrome to be real nice but that's pretty much all that's all we got rear seats the rear seats rear seats are very nice probably been barely used they have seat belts which is not the case on all mini and that's it all right well we'll be back with a bit more driving and then i'll go back home because i am freezing my ass off bye bye be right back hey guys uh, well uh sorry about that uh, actually i saw that i had uh, well i saw that i was filming the video but uh, i did not film anything and as you can see they are rebuilding the entire south um, south road of Mount Rocco they are paving it repaving the whole thing so it's gonna be stupid stupid smooth and like Japanese tend to be pretty quick at doing this kind of stuff so you can bet that by next week the, the whole the whole thing will be basically brand new uh, but uh, yeah meanwhile while they do that uh, I, I can't do the test drive like I want to um, so yeah to tell you about the downhill part uh, it's one of those mini that uh, how can I say uh, when you brake the rear the rear bias is made in a way that it's uh, the, the rear wheels will lock first so when you enter a corner and you try to trail brake uh, the whole thing will go sideways uh, because it will do as if you pull the handbrake and the whole car will uh, will try to spin out 
So yeah, be careful about that. Uh, I've been caught a couple times already with minis, this one included. So yeah, be careful. Other than that, the car is fast. Pretty, pretty, pretty fast. God, the road is gonna be perfect. That road is gonna be so nice. Alright, and now we are done with the test drive itself. a lot of grips but minis have a natural massive grip and they're so tiny that you can really use the entire road <laughs> said last time you can really use the whole road contact them or to contact me about it uh, I'm sure they will uh, be pleased to answer you or, uh, like any question you may have they'll be happy to answer you and uh, yeah you can follow us on Facebook if you want uh, like just search for Magazaki Motor I'm pretty responsive when it comes to questions on Facebook so yeah feel free to contact me there and till next time bye bye